Hi, Geminis. Hello, hello, hello. Robin and Robin's room. I'm here to do December 2020's love reading for you guys. And what I've been doing is, whoop, let me set my timer. Thank you very much. My precious gems. This is going to be your energy in December. Um, what might show up for you. It's a general experience. We're not sure how it's going to turn out for you, how you will connect to it. But I'm sure you will connect to it because I do have very strong faith in my guides. And I do know that this, this uh, channel was created for the whole experience of synchronicities and confirmations. And I've experienced it from the very beginning since I opened my channel. All to the point even where in deep meditation I was given this beautiful blend to create a, a, a sacred bath on the go, you know. And um, it's an anointing spray and a protection spray. I spray it when I read a lot. Why? Because it's lovely and powerful. And it brings me into a sanctified space. Okay. Thank you for being here. Hello. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, Geminis. Precious gems, what's up? I'm going to use the Lenormans to take a look at the background of what's going on with you guys. I don't know if you can hear my fan under the table, but it's really a, a heat, a small little ceramic heater. Um, if I turn the heat on in this place, my plants die and I just, <laughs> I melt. And if I turn the AC on, everything freezes. And if I shut everything up, then I suffocate and it <laughs> just goes on like that. Gemini, where are you guys in love? Um, happy holidays, honeys. Make the best of it, right? Here we go. Gemini. Wow. Divine masculine. Divine. Very nice. This looks like it could be new love, too, or somebody waiting for you. This is a masculine, it looks like. It could be you in that position, too, where you've got nobility, you've got character, you've got things going on, you're responsible, you're not going to settle for just anybody energy, you're, you're waiting for the one, he's holding a rose for the one and he's absolutely like he's really cool, he's got his own home, you know, he keeps himself clean, he looks, dresses nice, he's respectable, he listens well, and he's waiting patiently and he's obviously because he's barefoot he's really got nothing to hide, this is a good one we're waiting for the good one, is what I heard. Heard. What else for Gemini, please? Wow. You've been dreaming about this for some time. It's been on your psyche for some time. This experience. This is Pisces, possibly. But it's a d dreaming about your destiny. This change that you're making, you're going through. It's fantasy, it could be illusions, in, or it could be Pisces energy. It very well could be a Pisces for some of you. Whoa, pardon me, hang on. Chia. Why does this always happen to me? Okay. So, gems, 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 happy holidays. Okay, what else for Gemini, please, showing up, possibly? Has to do with a new home, or a home, or a family, or a relationship, a love relationship. This is a love, king of, king of hearts, the home, grounding. It could also represent the emperor energy of containing a responsibility. This man seems very responsible. Some of you got something really cool coming up. You could be moving to a new home or dreaming about a new home, pulling yourself into that energy. Clear, uh, clarify other things going on for Geminis in the month of December 2020. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however that fits you. What else, please? Yeah, there's a few things. There's a few obstacles in your way. I think you know it. Some of you just have to end an, end a cycle to begin a new one. You just have to end it. You have to get It's hard, but you can do it. It's been done. Trust me. See, because this is what you have coming to you. It may be a little tough getting there, but they're coming. This is someone who really is special. I think you like, you know, you raise your standard to their standard, and you, you know, you have this digni dignified energy of ready to come in. Love, love, love. I want my mirror image. I want my one. 
I'm dreaming of you, babe. They're dreaming of you as well. They're dreaming of you. Wow. I like that guy. <laughs> I like that guy. I got these new cards from my Gong Master teacher, Barbara Cole. I didn't even know she was taking courses in tarot. Um, that's cool. My best friend, too, started reading. That's what you get for giving your best friend's cards. <laughs> All right, and she's good. But she's on the road with her husband. She's a Zen master. Um, she owns Zen Tide Healing. So she's a good yoga instructor. She, she, she's amazing. So... I love her. Gotta love her. Gemini. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you guys. Let's take a look at it, okay? And thank you for being here. All the gifts and kindnesses and donations and super chat blessings and anything else you want to do. I am so blown away by your gratitude and by you guys. You will come back and tell me stuff. You'll be like, and you know, as more than anybody else, you'd be like, I gotta tell you this, I gotta tell you this, I'll tell you how this relates to me, you know, and I like that. By the way, I see here in your reading this energy coming up two eights, one more eight, and you got Jesus. <laughs> You're showing up as happy. There are some celebrations and joy going on within you. Three of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but you're maintaining this because you're staying in a happy, joyous place. You're gonna, you're doing that. That's happening. Tell me what's crossing my Gemini's in the month of December, please. King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, maybe not. You know, maybe somebody that um, just can't seem to bring that energy forward. It is indeed a fire sign energy, but this person doesn't have any passion. What do they want? Clarify that. The Wheel of Fortune. And a karmic, kar and, and, and a scenario and move on. That's what I got. So Gemini's, let's take a look at something you've dealt with just for the longest of times. And you're just tired of it. You got past it somehow. What is it, please? Ten of Cups. Got past it? You better get back there. It's right here. It's right here. Your Ten of Cups is right here. Go back to it. You used to know what it felt like to be absolutely amazingly full of love. Go back. Tell me what you recently dealt with. Four of Swords, resting and healing, chilling, meditating, figuring it out, doing mirror work, doing shadow work, doing healing work on yourself, knowing where you are, who you are, what you want, where you're going, how you're going to get there, and what kind of attitude you're going to maintain to get there, too. You've got this divine masculine energy, a, a soulmate, lover, showing, it doesn't say lover, but it, two and four is six, that's lovers. So this is like the lover's card, and this is like, it is indeed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Higher mind, King of Cups. Your mind is on how to give love and the highest form possible. What is the greatest way that I can love? That's what I hear. King of Cups. So you're using your emotions in a very, very, very good way. Totally feeling romantic here. Tell me about the future energy for Gemini's. Two of Pentacles, not having to carry the burden of someone unnecessary anymore or an excess burden that's gone. Clarify it. Yeah, death in reverse. They didn't want to, but you had to do it. That could be a Scorpio and the Hermit. So in the future, you might be like, I'm done with this Scorpio or I'm done with this person. I'm done with this one and I'm picking up the other. I'm going back to this, my Ten of Cups. And I'm moving forward to that. What do people see you as at this time? What are you showing up as in the, in the world? How are people seeing our Geminis at this time? What do you see when you see Gemini, please, Spirit? Six of Pentacles, no longer giving to two, no longer wasting their time. Um, it's in reverse. Six of Pentacles, they see you as maybe not getting what you're worth at this time. Um, Somebody, somebody pulling back 
and withdrawing. Hmm. Clarify that. Six of Cups. <sighs> On top of the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is this is reciprocity. This is divine granting of wishes. This is someone being generous with you. Someone maybe being too generous. Maybe you and too someone else or them and someone else and it's in reverse so people are seeing you as not sharing at this time um why can't they share it's because you're kind of in your emotions you're going back thinking back on how much you love this person or what you went through with this person is it an illusion spirit Three of Wands, yep, it was an illusion, and you realize that. You're realizing it. You are in an illusion in a relationship that wasn't really going to go anywhere specific, so you're moving forward towards this beautiful energy here. Tell me what is the environment they find themselves in. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out, feeling cold, feeling lonely, kind of saddened by it. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Feeling kind of saddened. Tell me why we have the Five of Pentacles here. The star. You're in need of healing. You might have an Aquarius around you that loves you and is going to bring you some hope. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what's on their mind and the biggest concern or where are they going? Two of Pentacles. Well, your biggest concern is that you're going to have, you're going to, have to do a juggling act for a little while. And that could be money, two jobs, two relationships. Uh, it has to do with uh, by borrowing from one to pay another, to pay another, to borrow from another, to pay them all back. Something like that. Um, balancing act. Mm -hmm. Tell me about a possible outcome. The devil. Uh, in this case, tell me why the devil showed up. You know, that's Capricorn. That's bondage. Maybe you're in bondage to money or obligations. But the sun comes to protect you. Yes, Capricorn, Leo. And the sun comes to bring you enlightenment and to heal you from this devil energy that you uh, had a bondage to, but you started juggling, but then you had to let go of something. Tell me another uh, possible outcome. The lovers. There you are. You and the sun. So you got Leo and Gemini, uh, Capricorn. Wow. Romance angels. I didn't tell you yet, did I? If you want to cross watch, if you're a cross watcher like me, you want to cross watch extended love readings are a lot, they're just as good. They've got amazing messages from the hidden realms from the fairies, from the keepers of the light, we go a little farther, the lover's oracle. But for now, we're going to take a look at this general energy for you and see what shows up. Some of you are dealing with different bits and pieces of these scenarios, and some of you might be actually experiencing the whole damn thing. It's really interesting to see how that works out, and I like your comments. Thank you for your love. I hope you have a wonderful holiday, you guys. It's tough. You've got to make it right. Okay? Romance angels say to Gemini's, Healing family issues. I would say so. Four of swords. You were dealing with deception. Someone's wearing a false mask. I think you know that. Letting go of control issues. The devil. Using the sun. The star. And your powerful love energy. You go back into this king of cups energy. And you maintain a, an appropriate love uh, source within you. So you have choices and options showing up here. And you have the king of cups and the devil. So this is your game. This is for you to decide how that works out for you. But I can tell you right now. Whoa. I'm bringing one more card to this particular general. And that is a very unique archangel message. It's very interesting how these... Um, these messages work. What? Archangel Michael. No doubt. Hello, Michael. You are really a keeper. Let's see where you're at. All right, so Michael is a fire element, so this is passion. 
He's passionate about helping too. Um, Haha, <laughs> are you ready, Gemini? Michael's considered the greatest of all the angels. He's ruler of the seventh heaven, prince of God, ruler of Mercury, prince of the virtues, leader of the archangels. Whoops, I'm tired. Sorry, you guys. All right, Gemini. <clears throat> Michael's usually depicted wearing plate armor or chain mail and holding a sword. In his other hand, he holds the scales of justice. He has one foot resting on a dragon, Satan. Hello. There's that ass right there. guess I should send him love, but I don't think he would receive it. I said that earlier today, too. I'm just such a cynic. He, um, he's defeated in battle. Michael is young, good-looking, and has an athletic physique. His hair is long and he wears a small jeweled crown. The challenge for you, Geminis, is you've drawn this card because you need Michael's qualities of courage, strength, loyalty, and dis determination. Circumstances might have worn you down. You might be tempted to give up or choose a new direction. The message of this card is that you possess enormous inner strength, and if you remain clearly focused and persistent, you will achieve your goals. Ten of Cups. You go. That's beautiful. Geminis, I thank you so much for being here. If you liked it and have it in your, your first time and you want to stay with me, subscribe and hit the all bell and that will bring you into my Robin's Realm. Okay. Much love to you. See you in my Patreon for a really super low fee. You get really super low readings. All of my patrons get their readings at twenty two twenty two, whereas my average low price for a reading like this would be forty four forty four. But because of the COVID lockdown, the pandemic situation, I wanted to make sure that those who devote to me get something back. Not only that, but you get several free readings a month and gifts. And I sent post all kinds of stuff. So let me be of encouragement to you and tell you I love you, and if you like cross-watching, the extendeds are going to even be better because they've got better mess. They've got good messages to further, further this. So we're going to go further, find out a little more about this one waiting, find out about Michael and the devils are our, our thing with you, okay? Find out about that, and then find out how that works into your environment scenario. Why are you juggling? Who are you juggling? What are you juggling? And how are you going to get to this Ten of Cups and this masculine and this, this gift here that's coming as you're dealing with the feeling of apprehension and coming out of the cold? So let's see what you have in your extended. Uh, the link is down below. Patreon.com forward slash Robin's Realm Readings. Come join me. If you join at five or above, you get a beautiful certificate and lots of love. Okay, so here we go. I wish you love, healing, happiness, mercy, mm, courage during this holiday season. May you be blessed, Geminis. Namaste.